Welcome to this eLearn security video training lesson on Image Document Analysis with Gyro. In this video, we are going to understand how to use Gyro to extract and analyze XF data from photos. Gyro is a fully automated digital forensics tool that can be used for image forensics. You can access and download Gyro at its official website, www.getgyro.org. The tool was created by Alessandro Tanasi and Marco Buoncristiano. You can download Gyro as either a stable package release, where you will have to set up Gyro yourself, or you can download and use the pre-configured appliance as either an OVA or ESXi virtual machine. For this video, I'm using the pre-configured virtual machine. I simply download the OVA file and imported it into my virtual box. You can find the documentation here. I highly recommend that you check it out, as there's lots of stuff that you can learn from the documentation, especially the different types of techniques. Here's the whole documentation about how to set up Gyro. Since I already have the tool downloaded and it's up and running on the virtual machine, let's go ahead and start using the tool. As soon as you open the website, you get the following web page. The default username is Gyro and the password is Gyro Manager. I've written them down here. Once logged in, we're presented with a dashboard. It says we have one user that we don't have any cases or completed analysis or have any analysis waiting. Let's go ahead and open a case, so let's click on Cases. If we had a case, we would see it over here. Let's add a new case by clicking on the Add Case green button here. A new case is now open. Let's name it Case 1. Let's select the Gyro user and save our case. This is where you select who has access to the case. We now have an open case and can now go ahead and add some photos here. We can add some images by uploading an image from a URL or from a folder. Let's go ahead and add some images. I'm going to select all the images in this directory and then click the Start Upload button. This will start the upload operation of the images to Gyro. The images are now uploaded and are currently being analyzed, which we can see from the status, Waiting. If we refresh the page, we can see Gyro has completed the analysis for each of the uploaded images. Let's select an image to check what's been done. As you can see, selecting the image takes us to the Analysis Results page, which is similar to what you see on VirusTotal. Only VT is normally used for analyzing malicious files in general. As we can see here, there is a hash value that seems to be used as an identifier of the image. We can also see each type of analysis done, and its results are on the right in green. Here is the localization analysis. From the results, we can say that this picture truly has some GPS coordinates in it. Also, here's the error level analysis, or ELA, which is useful to detect if modifications were done. This technique was presented at Black Hat, and it works on compressed images only, for example, JPEG or PNG. From the documentation, the main idea is that an image, in its original form, has unique levels of compression. The analyzed image is resaved, and differences in compression levels are calculated. If differences are detected, a probability of edits are high. Gyro calculates error levels and detects differences between them. Let's go ahead and check the signature results, which the developers describe as, Signature provides evidence about most critical data to highlight focal points and common exposures. Signature engine to highlight common exposure on over 120 signatures. Let's check the static page from here. As you can see, we have the file name, its size, and its dimensions, plus we can see the data it was analyzed, as well as any comments that the photographer or designer of the image added here. You can even add your own tags here. Let's check the file type page. It only shows us what file type was detected. If we move on to the hashes page, we find all the calculated hashes for the image. This is very useful when you build a huge database and you want to search for a picture based on its hash value. As you can see, the MD5 hash value is the one used as an ID for this photo. On the strings page, we can see all the strings that were found inside the image. This is similar to running the Linux strings command against the image. Strings are very useful. Do not underappreciate their usefulness. 
As you can see, we can even hex dump the image and see the content of the image in hexadecimal. If we go to the XF page, we see all the XF tags we mentioned in previous videos. We can see what type of camera was used, its model, and what software was used. Here, we can see the thumbnail details. Let's check other pages, such as XMP or this page for thumbnails. Here we can see the thumbnail for the image and details like size, type, and dimensions. Also, if you click on the image, it will open the thumbnail for us. Let's close it and move on. One awesome feature of Gyro is the map page. As you can see, this page can directly pinpoint where this photo was taken on the map. The ELA page shows the results of the ELA analysis, which I explained before. If there's been any modifications, this page will give you an idea. The signatures are high, medium, and low, and provide evidence about most critical data. Let's go back to Cases and select another image. All of these details have been extracted from the image itself. As mentioned before, File Type shows the type. Hashes show the hashes calculated for this image. Strings shows the strings found within the image and hex dump of the image. On the XF page, we see the image, thumbnail details, and finally, the GPS coordinates below. The thumbnail can be found here, and I guess you know who this fellow is. The map will show us where this photo was taken, which is New York. We can even zoom into the map using the plus button. Let's see if this photo has been modified in some way or another. This image has also been modified. The analysis shows us some x-ray of the original photo. And the signatures page shows us the categories of signatures detected. Let's go back to the case page. As a reminder, you can see the status, the owner of the images, and the date of submission. If we go to the not owned page, we can find all the photos that have been added to this case, but not by the user gyro. The Thumbnails page will give us the thumbnails for all the photos in this case and displayed on this page. Again, the map page is superb. It now shows us all of the places that the photos related to this case were taken. This is quite a handy and helpful tool. If there are any favorite images, they will be shown here. The Search page is also very useful, especially when you want to search for a needle in a haystack. That is, searching for an image in a pile or a huge database of images. As you can see here, there are different search options. Let's find something useful to search for. For example, let's copy this MD5 hash value for this image, and then try searching for it. Let's select the MD5 hash type from this drop-down list and paste the hash value here. Now, we'll click the green search button below. As you can see, we have found the image that its MD5 hash value matches, the hash we searched for. What a great tool! We can see its thumbnail or the map for the place that it was taken. Let's go back to the dashboard. Again, we see that we have only one user here and a single case named Case1. Here's how many open cases we have, and here we can see the last analysis that was completed. Here are some resources for you to check, especially the paper presented at Black Hat. And this concludes the video lesson on Image Document Analysis Using Gyro. I hope you found the video useful and saw the greatness of using Gyro for your image forensic analysis. Thanks for joining us.